Hey, welcome back. My name is Mina and welcome to Mina's Daily Dose. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video and watching me. And if you are already part of the fam, hello. How are you sis? How are you boo? Thank you for your continued support. But today I am here to showcase this look. This is a fresh look that I did and I really just wanted to come on here and show you guys how you could, you know, get a fresh look without compromising your flawness, okay? I mean, I have been breaking out lately, so I've been a little bit insecure about my skin. And so I wanted to come on here and show you guys how you can get a beat look that is still natural that is still fresh and still slay okay so if you are interested in seeing this video please stay tuned so on a day like today where my hair just isn't cooperating okay and I have to put it up in a bun when my skin is breaking out when it's just too much I like to do a fresh face. I like to do something that's going to wake me up because I look tired, something that's going to cover my breakouts. But, you know, we all have those days where we want to look bright, we want to look awake, and we want to fake it until we make it. So today I'm here to, you know, do a look. So let's jump right into it. My lips have been drier than usual, so I really want to hydrate them. I put on a nice thick lip gloss that's going to really moisturize them while I'm doing my makeup. Next thing I like to do is moisturize my skin. And when I just feel like I'm looking tired and just ran down, I really want to hydrate my skin as much as I can. So I'm going to be using two products to moisturize today. First, I'm going to use some coconut oil. Then I'm going to use my Smashbox primer water i'm just going to apply the coconut oil to my face now i'm going to spray my face with this smashbox primer water here yes yes so now that my skin is moisturized and primed i'm going to start really making my face come alive I picked up this la girl pro concealer and I was looking for the color Warm Honey, which I used to use to highlight with, but I couldn't find it, so I got Warm Sand. And Warm Sand is such a salmon tone that it just really didn't work for highlight. It works perfectly for a corrector. Right here, I don't know what's been going on right here, but it is just out of control. And now for my foundation, I have really loving using this lately and this is my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and it is in the color Cadiz. I'm going to get my Sigma Round Top Kabuki Brush and I'm just going to pump however many I like. I did five because, and I'm trying to look flawless. All right. I'm going to just tap this over my face to just evenly distribute the product slowly build up the foundation and then I'm going back in with the brush and just lightly brushing it over the skin and not lightly doing this is going to give your face a nice airbrushed look and so I'm rubbing it over my skin but I'm like barely touching I had to highlight and I like to go for something a little bit more natural looking so I'm going to use this naked concealer right here and it is in the color, I believe, medium dark. And I'm just going to focus it on the inner part of my eyes because I naturally have deep set eyes, but when I'm tired, <gasps> Ooh, honey, they are out of control. I mean, literally out of control. So just doing that. Put some right here. Put some on the chin. 
stomach in with that sponge. And then once again, just tapping the product in. So immediately after I do my under eyes, I want to set them because if I'm already looking tired, honey, I don't have time for things to settle, okay? I want to look bright and I look, want to look right. So I'm going to make sure my under eyes are blended out very well. And then go in. I'm using my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Palette. And this is the powder palette. And I'm going to go in with this yellow right here. I've been really loving this palette. Like, it's amazing. Tapping it in. And then applying some extra just to kind of bake a little bit. And then I'm also going to apply this color right here and I'm going to apply that more so around the mouth area just to make sure that area stays nice and bright as well. to do my brows and when I'm really trying to look awake and fresh I want my skin and my brows to be the focus simply because my eye look is going to be really really simple so I really want some sort of focal point on my face and I really want that to be my brows so right now I'm just brushing them up and when I really want a nice bold sharp brow I love going in with my Benefit Cabral I love Once I have the boldness that I like, I'm going to go back in with just a, this is a brow pencil, but I'm going to use a spoolie at the end and I'm just going to brush the product out to the front of the brows just to fade everything in. As I mentioned, I like to keep the eyes very fresh and awake so I'm just going to go ahead and blend out any concealer that I have on my lids that's creasing then I'm going to set my lids and I believe I'm just going to take a color out of this 3d um, this Ruby Kisses contour palette again I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here it's a little bit closer to my skin tone so I'm just gonna take a blending sponge and just set the entire lid and so I am going to take my Becca mineral face powder in the color tobacco and I'm just going to run this in my crease just to give a little bit of definition and just to bring you know some life to the eyes but as I mentioned earlier I really don't want to do much because I want this to be a very fresh you know look I want it to look effortless right right as well just effortlessly of course I can't do a look without orange I mean what is it with me what is it with me and orange? So I'm going into my Wet n Wild color. I'm going to go into that orange. Just a little bit, okay? We're just going to take a little, a little dabble of it. And just run it. When I say dabble, guys, I mean this a little, okay? Just a tad. All right, and we're done. So, oh my God. Bruh. Bruh. Right, we're dropping everything today. I said it's very simple. So for the lid, I'm going to go into this Elizabeth Arden palette. And you guys, this is vintage Elizabeth Arden. And, and I mean, the colors in here are just perfect for any type of fresh daytime look. And I'm going to go into this color right here. It's like a goldish 
taupe color um it has a little bit of shimmer in it but it doesn't have a lot of shimmer it's just very very natural and so i'm just going to run that over the lid and i mean it's so like neutral you guys i mean it's like super neutral now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just apply some mascara through my lashes just to give me a little bit of color oh and now it's time to just bronze up the face and i am going to be using the becca <clears throat> mineral powder and i'm just going to bronze honey want to chisel just a little bit I am going to use this color from that Ruby Kisses 3D face contour palette and I really like it I mean it gives a little bit more depth than I thought it would but it's a cool tone color and I think it's perfect for my skin tone so I to chisel just a little bit Now it's time for the highlight. Okay, a lot of people's favorite part. And we all know that I am a ride or die for this Milani Baked Bronzer. And this is in 04 Glow. I mean, if you are looking for an inexpensive highlight bronzing type of shade in your my skin tone this is absolutely beautiful so because i want to give it that extra mm, just that that extra mm, i am going to get some rose water here and i'm just going to spray it directly on the highlighter and it's just going to you know wet it a little bit get on to add to the freshness even more i'm going to go back into that elizabeth arden palette and it has a really nice blush right here and so i'm just going to run that on the apples of my cheeks just to give that nice flush of color and it's very subtle, but just so pretty. I am using a Too Faced lippy, and this is their La Cream lippy, and it is a lip cream, and this is in the color Sweet Maple, and it just want, once again adds to that nice, fresh look. I'm going to top that with a NYX lingerie lippy and this is in the color black book. And now I'm going to finish it with my Smashbox primer water. Mm, mm, mm. Love that. And because I'm extra, okay, and because I want to be matte, I'm going to also finish it with the matte finish spray by NYX. So that completes the look and I really hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you can join the MDD family. And if you are already a part of the fam, thank you. And I know you'll be back to join me on the next one. So smooches boos and I'll see you guys on my next tutorial.